And uh, we are now getting that replay. Yes, we are receiving the video. Why doesn't it work uh, through the USB port? Uh, like we don't know yet, but we'll try to figure it out with our US colleagues. We have not really tried that in the past, so I won't be able to give you a definitive answer right now. Okay, that's fine. But we are uh, transmitting it. Yes, we're receiving it. Everything is good. Again, uh, you're seeing a replay of uh, the final farewells uh, between uh, the crew, uh, Padalka in the lighter blue shirt, Andy Mogensen uh, of the European Space Agency, Aydin Aimbatov, the Kazakh cosmonaut, and of course a group uh, photo there with Scott Kelly, Mikhail Kornienko, Sergei Volkov, Kimia Yui, uh, Ale Kononienko on the left, and uh, Chell Lindgren just out of the field of view at the moment. Uh, the crew uh, posing uh, for a final uh, nine crew portrait after eight days together on board the International Space Station. Padalka, Mogensen, and Aimbatov gearing up uh, for their high speed uh, entry back into the Earth's atmosphere later today and a landing on the steppe of Kazakhstan at 7.51 p.m. Central Time tonight. Gennady Padalka there in uh, the foreground saying farewell to Scott Kelly and Mikhail Kornienko, who he ferried up to orbit back on March 28th on the TMA-16M to begin for them their one year in space. Padalka, the world's most experienced space traveler, wrapping up uh, his fifth space flight today in a total of 879 days in space. As uh, the departing crew uh, moves uh, through the hatchway uh, into the uh, Soyuz spacecraft, you're looking at, at the aft end of the Zvezda service module, the uh, mainstay of the Russian segment of the International Space Station, which was launched in uh, July of 2000 atop a Proton rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. NASA astronaut Chell Lindgren uh, documenting uh, the activities, uh, looking on uh, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency astronaut Kimia Yui, Lindgren, Yui, and Ale Kononienko, who was right there at the hatchway. Uh, they arrived on board in July. They uh, will be departing the space station in their own right on December 22nd for a pre-Christmas landing on the steppe of Kazakhstan in their own Soyuz spacecraft. You can leave them there. That's fine. Uh, quality is good. Yeah, our backs are looking good. Good quality. Uh, could you ask Sergey to call us? Okay, I'm going to ask him to grab the microphone. Go ahead. Uh, yes, uh, move Benpa to MRM2 and place uh, wherever you deem more convenient. Copy all, thank you. And there you see uh, the closing of uh, the hatch uh, between uh, the Zvezda service module and the Soyuz TMA-16M. This replay uh, of the activities that occurred about 45 minutes ago with the closing of the hatch marked at 1.17 p.m. Central Time, 2.17 p.m. Eastern Time. Since then, uh, the Soyuz has been placed on autonomous power by Gennady Padalka, the Soyuz commander, as he, Andreas Mogensen of the European Space Agency, and Aydin Aimbatov of the Kazakh space agency known as Kaz Cosmos are uh, preparing their Soyuz vehicle for its undocking, which uh, is scheduled two hours and 29 minutes from now.
Oleg Kononenko, uh, the Russian cosmonaut flight engineer who arrived uh, on board the International Space Station as part of Expedition 44 and is continuing on as part of Expedition 45 uh, with the uh, final closure of the station side of the hatch. Hatch is closed at 1.17 p.m. Central Time. The crew in the involved in uh, leak checks and other systems checks. And there you see uh, the replay having been completed of uh, the final farewells uh, between the crew members and the closing of the hatches.